I'm really looking forward to see this matchup, I will tell you in a second, but first let's introduce the players. In the color yellow, playing as the Chinese, it's Valdemar. Look at that. Beautiful monument here. Can. And in the color teal, playing as the Rus, is Mid Cisco. Welcome everybody, if you are enjoying this Age of Empires 4 content, make sure to like and subscribe to watch more of these matches. Now I will tell you why I'm looking forward to this match. We are on a very open map. We are in, in a very open map. I don't remember if this was uh, Dry, Ara Ar Dry Arabia, is it? I'm not, I'm not fully sure of it, but usually uh, Chinese have a lot of trouble with this because there are many points of flanking like you can, you can wall this off very easily actually but like all this place it's really hard to wall so as the Chinese you want to play on the defensive for the moment and then you know when your economy gets better just, just go for it just because you can get that Song Dynasty you can get like you know your palace guards start raiding all that stuff for the rus they get early knights so they can potentially harass you at the beginning stopping you from you know having your malevolous plan of going uh, you know your classic 2, two tc song dynasty Talking about dynasties, uh, I, I went to Chong Chongqing uh, a few a few few months ago. I went to Chongqing. Uh, if you don't know Chongqing, it's a uh, uh, so like a classic Chinese name, right? Like Chongqing, Chongqing, Chongqing. Uh, Chongqing, it's a city. Uh, it's a very special city building the mountains. So when you are walking there. Like you feel you're in the first floor, but then you look down, you're maybe on the 20th floor. And there is so many stairs to go everything, it's like a maze. Now, I, I feel like it has a lot of potential to have this cyberpunk feeling, like because it has a lot of verticality. And you know, games usually play with a lot of that. Usually with tall buildings, like you are in the first floor, but actually it's not the first floor, it's the 20th floor. And it's just such... It's such a cool city, actually, but I can't imagine to live there, uh, they they have to, you know, it's so inconvenient because they have a lot of weird ways to go somewhere and it's just, I don't know, I cannot imagine living in a city like that, but it's really cool, it's, it's, it's really cool for YouTube, I actually have a, another YouTube channel, it's called Mamo in China where I'm posting some shots of what I'm seeing in China from different places and this like a lot of content I don't I don't talk there I just want to show like a pretty picture or something like that I'm not really much into it but few people have gotten into the channel lately it's like really small 30 subscribers uh, but uh, I'm showing how, how's the life here if you are interested in checking how is China uh, other than Age of Empires 4 that, that, that can be a uh, it can be an option for you. Uh, anyway, uh, we see the roofs putting the Kremlin on the front. Usually, the Kremlin you want it on the front. If you have gold in the back, you don't need to protect the gold. You just put it next to your wood line. But the idea is to be on the front because this this Kremlin is really really good, really good. And not only because you have the how to say it? Uh, you have a defensive structure, defensive landmark. There you go. Uh, you can get, you can call the Kremlis, and they use the militia. Sorry, uh, you can call the militia, and you can just win battles with that. You're losing, call the militia. You want to protect something at the beginning. Want to go for a second town center, which usually the Rus will go for a second town center very fast. We're not seeing any sign of him going for a second town center yet. But you can call the militia and then protect the town center and then you have a safe town center you can you can put. Valdemar will put the Barbican very close to his base, protecting the berries, protecting the, the wood line. And with that he will have Song 
Song Dynasty. Is it Song Dynasty or Song Dynasty? I'm not exactly sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up on Google. I don't know if it's like different types of English. They say Dynasty or Dynasty. And at this point, you know, a lot of countries that I didn't thought they had English as their official language, they, they actually do. Like, for example, India is one of them. Official language for India, it's English, actually. Uh, it, it is English. Um, but, but they speak it with a, with a very strong accent, right? Compared to the standard English. Like, Mid Cisco will also go for, for the second town center. Uh, another, another country that has the. of in English as an official language that shouldn't have, maybe Singapore. Singapore has official, uh, his in English language is official, and they speak like really funny because they mix it with like Chinese. Chinese uh, is official language there, but it's like it, they don't have mandatory courses for Chinese, only the beginner, uh, like standard Chinese is mandatory, and the rest, if you want to learn, have more advanced Chinese, uh, you need to choose it like a, as an elective course you you need to choose if you want to go for the chinese skill tree or or you know we go for other kind of a skill tree look at that mid cisco actually going for all that deer pack is this the boar no, it, it is it, it is the deer that the boar is not here i mean a wooden fortress here a couple of palisade walls Having the Kremlin in the back here. Big having the time of his life. Actually, he he why did he mine the stone? Why did he mine the stone? Am I seeing something? Am I missing something? He he mined 200 stone and then it's like, okay, you know what? I'm not going for a second DC. Actually, I'm more of a wooden fortress guy which doesn't require stock unless you want those upgrades but maybe that's what he wants and maybe that's it but you're against a civilization that look at that the crack the, the militia didn't manage to get any kill but <laughs> at first here how how they die here is like having a throat pain or something very very funny uh, anyway Ch chinese already second town center i expect to see some uh, like some slow games here just because the chinese wants to go for a second town center wants to get the song dynasty and later we can talk later we can talk about what 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 will go on for the chinese before that it's like you know what just let me do your thing you do you do your thing and uh, I'll let you know when I'm ready f when I'm ready to fight. It's basically the the Chinese way of of playing Age of Empires 4. And it's kind of a, like an unraidable base, right? Because here you have gold in the back, in the back you have you have a village here. Then you have the Barbican of the Sun protecting the wood line and the front line. And you have the walls here, you have a second town center. So it's like Unraidable base. But now Mid Cisco is actually going for the trade house. That's a that's a lot of wood. Yeah. Maybe Maybe 50 50 trees around here. Uh, let's let's check it. Let's check it soon. Actually instead of going for a 2TC himself, he decides to go, you know what? I'm gonna go castle. And in a way it makes sense because if you go second town center as the Rus, it's not the same as two town center as the Chinese because they have the Song Dynasty. They can produce villagers every 15 seconds. Now the Rus are already on Castle Age. Take a look at how many trees. 60 tree trees. Oh my god. That's a lot of trees. And at this point, maybe you want mana arms. There you go. Mana arms are coming to your base. You want to get that plus two range armor, so you can just deep dive into the base of the Chinese uh, and just, you know, cause some trouble as soon as possible. The problem is Valdemar is also going for 
castellation and you know they can build faster so it's it's gonna be a really fast age up as soon as he has set foot he's gonna be on his way for aging up look at these boys look pretty cool there the man at arms from the ruse that's for sure actually Valdemar not gonna rush it, only four four villagers for the astronomical clock tower. He decides to put more villagers on resources. Talking about resources, let's take a look at that. Resource per minute. A couple of man-at-arms. Take a look at Valdemar's vision. He has a scout here, he knows exactly what's coming. He's prepared. He's gonna go for arch archery range. There you go. Get a couple of crossbows. Problem solved. You don't need to really worry about anything here. Man at arms is gonna get a couple of shots from the Barbican. I always find like the Barbican it's the kind of landmark that I always forget to, to put the emplacements. It's like I always think about building a keep, but I never think about the Barbican. The Barbican actually is a very good, very good landmark. Actually, because even if it gets taken down, you can repair with wood. And there you go. Couple of crossbows already on the mix. Say a couple, it's actually five. Five of them. You know what? Meanwhile, more man at arms are coming here. At this point, Mitsisko should be thinking about himself going for a second down center, maybe. Just to catch up. Look at the villager difference 61 against 39. Oh, they are actually putting the crossbow here, not letting it die by any chance. Still have plenty of food with the berries. Starting his farm transition. We're gonna put some crossbow here to defend. Now, some monks. I'm gonna gather some relics. The ruse uh, is, is behind the relics. The, the problem with the ruse is that. You go castle first, you have, you have the advantage of actually going for a monastery and getting those relics and you're missing you're missing the chance. You're missing the chance of getting those relics for yourself first. And actually, even if you're behind villagers, if you can get five relics, that's pretty good for you. Uh, well, it's, in this case, it's gonna be like four. I don't think he's gonna get a fifth one. Valdemar gonna lose villagers here, but I'm not gonna care too much. He's already on two town centers. Song Dynasty. Another monastery. Like rushing to get those relics. He realized, you know what? My opponent is actually going with those relics. Priest gonna say hi. I just mad at arms. Actually, mad at arms actually causing some damage. Some damage, not. Collateral damage, but some damage. This guy already taking down the the wall. Militia gets called. Will he potentially try to take down the town center? That can actually be his main objective at the beginning. Should be like, okay, let's let's take down the town center. So he loses the villager momentum he, he has. And let's go for a second town center ourselves. So we can catch up. Otherwise, we're just gonna get behind on the economy. And now these are a lot of units, but Militia all will, only will last one more second. There you go, you're dead, you got COVID. No. Better on Horseman, actually going for mid Cisco. He's not actually using the Knights here, uh, which is the right call because the crossbow is... Uh, uh, and they are weak against Horseman, so be getting Horseman. You cannot get Knights against that many crossbow. You can get... Or you can get knights and you know um, archers, or maybe you can just you can just mix it with some at arms if you want. But just tank some damage. But with so many crossbows, it's just gonna be so hard. And at, at this point, Valdemar is just you know staying in his base, just trying. He he's not in a hurry. The more the time goes, the more villagers he have, 
the more resources he, he can get, and if he spends the resources wisely, then he should be able to outnumber his opponent. He's already over. He has increased military population. He's only going crossbows for now. Secret side's gonna be capturing the north, the same side for his opponent in the south. Let's take a look at his vision. No vision yet for Valdemar. And what his opponent is doing. He's about to he's about to see the He saw the stable, so he suspects his, there's gonna be horsemen or knights. And meets his is just gathering. Gathering his army here. Sacred Sight being captured in the north, Sacred Sight also being captured in the south. Actually, Mitsisko got three relics, which is uh, good for him. He could, he could have gotten four, but you know, he decides to go for, with the BD Man at Arms. He loses the scout here. Let's take a look at his vision. Oh, he's, trying to, he's trying to go for it. A little raid here. Those are a lot of horsemen, so immediately Valdemar reacts. Let's go for some barracks. It's the direct counter for the cross uh, for the horsemen. Actually, you can also go knights. Like technically, knights counter horsemen, uh, and they have the mobility, uh, but they are more expensive. But you know, spearman will just do the work just fine here. Crossbow, actually. Intercepting that warrior monk. Spirit way. Coming for Valdemar, actually. Going to Imperial Age really fast. Farm transition. Almost there. Beautiful farm. So how many how many farms he has? 41 farms should be sitting in a really nice spot. Just a couple more and should be calling it a day. Uh, better and spearman. Fertilization also coming for Valdemar. He's playing really defensively. You know, that's the way the Chinese play. They play really defensively and then they go out after the, their economy is like, it's down. Now, these farms are really expensive. Unlike the Artrigi's legacy, these farms are uh, extremely expensive. And now more horsemen come here. That's a lot of horsemen. And he did a very smart thing, he put a spirit way here, just so that the tax officer actually can drop off the taxes here. Not many people know that, but the spirit way also works as a tax drop off building. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of, that's a lot of villagers. Now hand cannoneers are gonna be mixed here. It's gonna be hand cannoneer spearman, that's his choice. Spearman just harder, not elite Spearman yet. He ne needs to catch up with upgrades. Meanwhile, more horsemen. It's gonna be archers into the mix now. Nicky wall here. Now the, the keep will be finished. Actually, Valdemar lost 26 villagers this game. But he, he really doesn't care because he has in 2TC Song Dynasty. Mid Cisco, he still doesn't know with the stone he gathered at the beginning. Another raid will come soon, but looks like this is not exactly the army that will take you down, especially when you are in Imperial Age. Your units will get upgraded soon. Brave Spearman decides actually, you know what, I'm coming back. Get the upgrades. Better than Spearman now. Now with hand cannoneers, they're gonna just melt everything. Like 40. Remember, uh, Chinese get chemistry upgraded when automatically, whenever they reach the, the Imperial Age. Uh, all their actually they they have chemistry update upgraded for the whole time, and. The hand cannon, hand cannoneers just do more damage automatically, just because they they don't need that 
extra research technology. I mean, it's just having a lot of gold in the bank. I'm not exactly what to do with that. At that point, you can sell a little bit, put a keep here and be safe for a while. Uh, at this point, your opponent has too many villagers. He starts with more and more production buildings. Sending all the units here. At this point, you don't care anymore. No plus two range defense yet. Militia gets called. I still like just watching here. And no military units for mid Cisco. This is what I would call like a playing Chinese by the textbook, you know, like like that's the way you play Chinese. You play defensively until you're rich enough and then you go kill your opponent. Now you can see the military numbers for Valdemar is much higher than his opponent. And he just keeps sending units. It's gonna be hand cannon here, spearman. And now mix with some palace guards. No elite upgrades yet. Gonna have elite upgrades for the spearman soon. Oh, all the units coming here. At this point, he's just sending units. I really need to care about the, you know, his what his opponent is doing or anything. He's also aging up. Take a look. Where is his? Where is his landmark? Where is it? I don't see it. Where is the landmark? Ah, oh, there you go. So this landmark will give him the bread to survive just a little bit. And it comes with all the upgrades. Comes with all weapon emplacements and now the Rus can build the stone walls. Which hopefully can use the stone for, for that now. Now with this tower here, it's gonna be a little bit harder to go in, to get into mid Cisco's economy. Let's see how, what Valdemar will do. Time to go for some siege here. And also, potentially, start putting some keeps here just to secure those resources. Take a look at his vision. He's starting to wall this section of the map. Getting map control over almost three quarters of the map. Now more units will rally here. Just gonna be the same Spearman Hand Cannoneer. Hand Cannoneer is such a powerful unit for the Chinese at the beginning. As soon as they get Imperial Age, they already have the chemistry up upgrade. That's a lot of villagers and gold coming. And T6 is gonna mine that gold really, really fast. And now villagers are coming out. They're gonna find themselves actually block here at the great Chinese wooden wall. And look what look what this, this guy's doing. Vision for everything. This is vision for everything. Take a look at this. The Imperial Palace. Just take a look at this this vision. I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this vision like this. Just so you can see what's going on, take a look at the minimap. And now... Boom. This, uh, this, I'm not putting the... You know, the... The caster mode where you can see everything. This is his vision, really. This landmark gives you so much vision and also the ability to check where are his villagers. He knows where they are. I mean, you just press the ability point. He knows where to raid. And now, Spearman actually going for the kill now. A couple of bombards. Also there in queue. Gonna take down the high trade house. You know what he says? I'm gonna go for a landmark snipe. Don't need anything. Gonna deny that passive goal that the Rus have. That's gonna be Man at Arms and Straight C. Very powerful unit, but Valdemar already has a lot of units himself. Gonna be more barracks 
looks like more Spearman and Palace Guards will join in the raid here. Already taking control of this part of the map. Valdemar doing a really good job with walling. I've seen this, uh, this playstyle before. He really does a really good job at walling his opponent. Like taking control of the map little by little with even with palace walls. You don't even go for stone walls. Only these walls are enough to. This is a maze actually. It's like how do you go out? Let's take a look at Mid Cisco's vision. Like there's walls everywhere. And now he's rushing a keep here. Red T. Look at that bonus attack speed as soon as they get there. But it's not gonna be good enough. He taps out. He knows Valdemar already took control of the whole map. He cannot catch up with the Chinese economy.